Now, part A of this question is solved. Part B is saying what production level is required to maximize profit? And we're talking about the overall Q. How much are they going to have to produce? So what is our production that we're going to have to achieve? Q is equal to Q1 plus Q2. So this is going to be 335 plus 195. So the production level here is going to be 530. So we have to make 530 units, distributing 335 of them to the domestic market and 195 to the international market. That was our unconstrained optimization. There were no limits on Q1 and Q2. We're about to go in a new direction. The firm has a production capacity. Its maximum capacity is 500. Will the production capacity constrain profit? So in our last example, our ideal production is going to be 530. This is what's going to maximize our profit. But now we have a limitation of 500. So will we be able to achieve our ideal production of 530? If our production capacity is 500, can we make 530? No, we can't. We have a constraint. The production capacity is going to constrain profit. Cannot make 530. Production is constrained or has an external limitation on it now. So this is what we're talking about when we talk about a constraint. We have an external constraint. We cannot make limitless amounts of Q1 and Q2. We are limited to making 500. 